Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Today we're going to be looking at a uh, nice accessory that I want to put on my Canik 9mm here. This is a uh, Easy Shot red dot. I think it's red. Uh, we'll know after we put the uh, batteries in it and shoot the beam. But it's a laser sight that goes on your rail. I'm going to put it here on the bottom of this pistol. But uh, come in. I'll let you look at this a lot further, and we'll get it set up. We'll get it on this pistol. We'll actually sight it in using my bore sighter that I just got as well. You see what we think about this. All right, what we got here is this little black box. Uh, easy shoot red laser is what it says on the box. Yeah, ain't much information on the box. Let's open it up and uh, see what we got here. Oh, we have actually have destructions down here. Yes, very important that you read them. And here's a cool little laser sight. Well, that thing ain't big at all. I like that. Regular rail style. It takes a Allen wrench. Oh, nice. They give you two in here. One for adjusting it and one for installation. There we go. Yeah, we'll lose them within a day or two. Hopefully not. And, of course, it has the batteries in it. Well, the first thing to do is put some batteries in it and see what color laser we have. Well, top and want to come open does it batteries go right in that top right there yes you should get a proper screwdriver and uh, open that up or you can just use your knife and your fingernail whichever works for you assume this takes one or two of these batteries Okay, as deep as the hole is, it looks like it's going to take two. Good thing we got a knife out because you can't get nothing out of these packages the way that they do them nowadays. We're dangerous here, we're going to lose a finger. Ah, oh, there's one battery. And two batteries. There's a one, there's a two, okay it is red laser, it was shut off, there we go, not doing some weird stuff, hold on a minute, let me get top on there. What I always do when I'm putting on fine threads and stuff like this, I'll screw it on reverse and you'll feel it sort of click in and then you can go with it. I'll get our precision screwdriver handy here. There we go. Yes, this is a red laser. You see, pretty bright too. Yeah, not bad. Uh, let's see how to... Okay, apparently that's the on and off there. Okay, just an on and off on both sides, whether you're left or right-handed. I do like that because they don't set up a lot of stuff for ambidextrous people. Now I'm going to go ahead and install this. Sorry, I'm not going to show you how to install it on a video. That's against YouTube policy now. But let me get this on the handgun and let you check it out and see what we think. Well, I got her installed. I use the second and fourth hole. Now this Canik being the desert tan and having the black accents really accepted this well. I think that that looks pretty cool. Seems to fit the pistol very well. 
with no problems. Now, is it able to be sighted in correctly? That's a, uh, that's a big deal. I got my bore solder in. As you can tell, it's green. Let me see if I can uh, grab this little Allen screw here. There is a. There is right here. It'll be left to right, I would assume. This one here will be your up and down. Well, let me see what I got here. Let's, uh, let's just project over here on the wall and see if we can get the red lined up with the green. All right, up and down, they're pretty close. Let's do that. Now we'll go to the side there where I showed you and put in our little Allen wrench. Wrong way, wrong way. Just up, just a shade. That's it. We got that bad boy sighted in. Well, wasn't that easy? Yeah, I like that. The uh, adjustments were very quick and easy. Like, say, Allen wrench here for left to right, and a little Allen wrench here for the up and down. And now, we got that thing on the money. Oh yeah. I think that's a very, very nice compliment for this little old pistol. Uh, it looks good. I don't holster this gun. This is pretty much made just a range gun. So that laser is not, uh, yeah, not bad at all. We'll uh, take it outside and uh, take it to the range and see what we think, see if she's going to hold true, and see how far in good direct sunlight we'll be able to see with this thing. All right, guys, out at the range with our laser. Yeah, I mean, and in this direct sunlight, this is about the middle of the day. We can go out to 10 yards with it, which is pretty cool for direct sunlight. As blind as I am, I can see it at 10 yards. So what we're going to do, I'll have some of this uh, X-Force. This is uh, 124 grain, 9 millimeter. We don't have much of it, do I? Well, let's uh, load some of this stuff up and just see if that later laser is going to hold true on this thing. And I do have shaving cream out there. Definitely got to get a shaving cream. There's eight of them. That ought to tell us what we need to know. All right. Grab us some ears. I already got my eyes on. And see what we think about this laser. All right. I'd like to say 10 yards. About as good as I can see this thing out here in the sunlight. So we're just going to give her a try and see. Let's, uh... Let's start off and wake up old Kenny over there. I'm going to sort of hold to the side so I ain't prone to look down the sights. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Bigfoot. Pig. Yeah, that laser's holding on there pretty good. Now, what about that shaving cream? Right above that stop sign. You are kidding me, I shot right below that thing. We gotta reset that. Yeah, you see a dent right where I hit, uh, right below the steel. I see a laser 
on that can. You've got to be kidding me. It was hitting the steel just fine. We put something on that can where I can actually see the laser. So what about that red laser on that blue and black just those be totally blind. Alright, here's what I've done this time. I put seven in here so we can have a little more fun. I put the seam pointing towards me. That way that laser will listen off of that seam. You got to be kidding me. For me, it's shooting a little low. Man, can just doesn't want to be hit today, and I know I can shoot. Got to get used to where his laser's hitting exactly. And I've got one round left. Got the laser light on. one way to do it. Well guys, more than one way to kill a shaving cream, and that's a fact. Uh, nothing wrong with this laser. Uh, I haven't been out there shooting in a while. I think it's my trigger pull. I was hitting the steel very well, and uh, I don't know, it seemed like it may be shooting just a shade low, but I haven't shot this a whole lot, you know, enough to say that I'm used to it and I've got it down pat. But, I think this laser is on. It seemed like it was holding uh, its aim well. Uh, this hand here was not cooperating with the laser <laughs> is what the issue was. But that thing's pretty cool. Like I say, I do like it. You know, it's got a nice red laser on there. And it shines out there to 10 yards, you know, in the shade. But still, we're at, you know, sunlight of the day. That's not bad at all. I bet at night that thing will really reach out there. Well, I gotta say, cool. Glad I picked this up. Well, everyone, I appreciate you watching the video. Hope you enjoyed that. I did. That's gonna stay a permanent picture on that canic. Uh, I like it that much. Uh, if you would, throw me down some comments. If you're able, hit us up on Patreon and or the super thanks below. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Tell everybody about the videos. And let's get this channel really hopping. Again, appreciate it much. Until the next one, we hope that everyone has a fantastic day.